When you're on the sports medicine staff of any collegiate team, players aren't always excited to see you. I joke with our guys, the majority of the time when they come talk to me, something's wrong. It's never to ask, you know, hey, how's it going? And, you know, good stuff, something's wrong. Brandon Yoder is in his second year as director of sports medicine at Marquette. He and his staff make sure each Golden Eagles player is ready to go for each game. We handle the day-to-day -day, uh, health care of the student athlete. Uh, basically encompassing all health. And then our job is to facilitate to specialists as needed, um, whether that be physicians, orthopedics, uh, that can be chiropractic care, it can be physical therapy, uh, it can be a, a number of different avenues. And what we do is uh, the assessment of those injuries and then see where do they need to go from there. Brandon and his staff are on the bench for each game. A good day means no injuries, and they focus on keeping players hydrated. But there is a lot of work that goes into getting each player on the floor at game time. Injuries are constantly being rehabbed, and the staff has to keep the health of each player in mind. And there are ankles to be taped. Averaging roughly about 20 a day, six days a week. Lots and lots of ankles to be taped. The big thing is going through our checks and balances to see that when the athlete gets back on the court, yes, can they play, but are they able to protect themselves? They establish that level of trust with you, and, and that makes you feel good. And, and then I'll obviously continuing that trust with your coaching staff, etc. It's you feel like you're an integral part of the team because you are kind of that middle ground between the player and the coaches because you see them on the daily basis and you hear the complaints and your ability to kind of uh, mold what the coach wants and what the player is physically capable of doing is, is important. Data plays a big role. Marquette's catapult system tracks player movement and gives Yoder and his staff hard info about how each athlete's body is performing. The great thing that I try to utilize it for from my standpoint is if injuries do occur is looking at what trends, okay, and, and seeing if there's something that is consistent that all of a sudden we're saying, okay, this is why this is happening. And then rather than uh, just being uh, reactionary to everything, we want to try to use it from a preventative standpoint down the road. For many players, the sports medicine staff is their link to all types of health care. We've got the ability to basically take care of any medical need that the student athlete has. Uh, that can include dental, vision, uh, obviously counseling services. We help coordinate those appointments. And, and our job is to essentially help coordinate the entire medical care uh, for the student athlete during their time. So we find what needs to be done, and then our job is to get that organized as quickly as, as possible. So it's no surprise the sports medicine staff builds a unique bond with each player. When I see them, you know, I, a lot of times I'm seeing them at the low point. And, but at the same time, it makes me feel that much better and, and proud uh, when I get to see them return to play and see them at the high point. And so that personal relationship ends up being uh, really deep for me and to the point where, you know, when guys leave and you stay in contact with them when they have an injury, they still reach out to you and say, hey, this is going on, you know, what should I be doing?